I've picked up almost every Vulcan item. I'll tell you what I don't like and what I'd pick up again. There's tons of people out there that will tell you to forget about the Harbor Freight stuff. You know, you have to use Lincoln or Blue Demon, whatever it may be. And here's the deal. Is it the cheapest? No. Is it the best? No. But it works. It's always there for you, and hey, there's nothing worse than mid-project running out of wire. So just pick some up when it's on sale, of course, and so then you'll always have it for your stockpile. And the little things like your, your contact tips and nozzles, they are specific for the type of welder you have. Yes, there is some overlap between different brands, but hey, you know, they're not that much cheaper online or what have you. So just pick up this kind of stuff while you're there and then you're not having to worry about what's compatible with the stuff online. And hey, if you get the nozzle gel, link in the description, no, Harbor Freight doesn't carry it, so you gotta just pick it up elsewhere. It will prolong your life of the nozzles and the contact tips like tenfold. I mean, money back guaranteed. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how long it prolongs it, but it does definitely help out. And lastly, the TIG kits as a consumable item, like the wire, it's not the cheapest, but it works. So pick it up, and whether you care or not, it, uh, this stuff does come with tungsten, which is usually the most expensive part. Um, it's a 2% uh, serrated type tungsten, uh, meaning it's good for both AC, DC, and inverters. So it's kind of an all-encompassing type tungsten. Safety first, except that I put it as uh, the second item. Either way, let's start off with the gloves. If you'll notice, these are just their cheap bare bones uh, MIG welding gloves. Vulcan does have a black pair of gloves and they're like 25 bucks. I'm telling you what, I've got so many pairs of gloves, I didn't bother picking up a pair. I usually always go with the cheaper, you know, three pack. And side note, as a daily double, I always throw an extra pair in with my fire or Dutch oven type stuff. Perfect for that kind of stuff. To go along with that, I do really enjoy the TIG welding gloves. What makes them a TIG welding? Well, they are just a thinner type leather and so you've got a lot more mobility or dexterity, I don't know. You've got a lot more movement that you can do with these gloves, so I've actually started using them more with MIG welding on lower settings. So as long as your metal doesn't get super hot, these suckers are perfect. Now onto the helmet. So this is the sweet Vulcan flame design. Pro tip, don't let the designs distract you from the actual specs of the helmet. This is a nicer helmet, nicer than the others that they have. You know, you got a wider uh, viewing area and um, you know, the, uh, it's actually got a quite a comfortable headgear. Bottom line is with what Harbor Freight has, yes, this is better than their cheaper $40 one, but if you are just getting started in welding and you're not using it every day, you know what, pick up the cheaper one. I think I even have like the titanium one. So it's not as nice headgear, not as nice, you know, uh, settings or displays, but guess what? These both work by changing instantly when it sees that arc is the number one thing. They both do that. So you don't need to spend the big bucks to get going. Moving on to the accessories and I'm gonna start off with the awesome welding card. I think that it fits perfectly for the wider Vulcan base and so it does fit on this one and then the big cabinet type card. I wasn't gonna spend 500 bucks for that one. I think that this one at 99 bucks is a perfect welding cart for these welders. Plenty of hooks for all the cords and that lower shelf fits all of the accessories perfectly. Here's the deal with the spool gun, okay? I would say get it if you do the occasional, and I mean just the odd and end, very select few projects for aluminum. First of all, that's what the spool gun is for, aluminum only. And I say occasional because really, if you are gonna be doing a bunch of aluminum, you're gonna wanna step up to an AC type TIG machine. And likewise, for the foot pedal and TIG torch, you know, it's just for that person that just wants to, you know, dip their toes in the TIG welding side of things. It's the Omni Pro, yes, it does have a foot pedal, so it's kind of a step up from bare bones type settings, but in reality, it's not AC and there's not that many adjustments in the TIG side. 
these are a couple extra hundred bucks so i would say forget these and leave the omni pro to what it does best which is your mig flux and stick welding and this leads up to the welder itself you know they've got the mig and flux score only uh, mig max machines uh then they got you know the omni pro 220 everyone's seen and likes this one they got the pro tigs for TIG welding and they've got some, I think, you know, some generator stick welder type deal. Um, not messing with that. I don't do stuff out in the field. So either way, most people like and talk about the Omni Pro 220 and it is an awesome machine. Um, the features and components themselves are quite a bit better than even the titanium and a lot better than the Chicago Electric. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it is the best welder at Harbor Freight. I've actually got a whole nother video going into some of those details of their good, better, and best. But I would say that, you know, you get what you pay for. So you are getting um, a good quality machine like the Vulcan. So if, you know, you need those extra features or the higher duty cycles, the Vulcan won't let you down. This isn't a full review of the Omni Pro. If you want to see welding from each process, check the link in the description. Just to recap, pick up the welder, definitely pick up that welding cart, pick up all the consumables, including the wire, rods, contact tip, nozzles, and, well, if you decide to go with the TIG torch, that is a good beginner kit. Skip this one, but do pick up an auto darkening helmet. These suckers are perfect. If you got an extra 200, pick up the TIG torch and foot pedal. If you picked up the Omni Pro and have to do aluminum, the spool gun is the only way at it. That's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.